I'm Scott Mears with Alberta Agriculture and Rural Development and we're going to do a quick video on how to set up a wheat midge trap for, for monitoring for wheat midge. Okay, so when you get your package to do, the, uh, to do the midge monitoring, for each field you'll get two midge uh, traps, uh, delta traps. We're gonna get, you'll get two of these uh, insulators um, to hang the trap off of. You'll get two wheat midge lures. You'll get uh, some paper clips and a couple zip ties. You'll get a supply of gloves, rubber gloves and you'll get um, a supply of sticky cards these with the little squares on it. You'll also get um, a couple of these fiberglass poles and um, they may or may not have the the flagging on top. If they don't you'll have to tape on some flagging so that you'll actually be able to find them once you put them in the field. Okay first thing you'll notice uh, when you get your trap is you'll have a little origami, origami exercise to do. These traps have to be folded and you'll see that there's actually uh, folding lines in them. So uh, you want to actually fold up on those on these triangular pieces here and then fold you'll fold the trap in from there. So you get those pre pre-folded up and then you'll actually bring the trap in like this, we'll worry about all that later, but as long as they bend in properly, we're good. Okay, the first thing we have to do is actually get the top put together properly, and you'll want to make sure that the holes line up perfectly because that's where you're going to hang the trap off of. Okay, once you get it to that point, get that hole nicely lined up, and you just take a stapler and staple that closed. Okay, so now that's ready actually to put the lure into. So now we're actually going to put the lure into the, into the trap. So like we do with all of our pheromones, we all actually always handle the pheromone with a rubber glove. That's so we don't ruin the eff effectiveness of the lure itself. So there we have, let's just take the lure out of the foil package. And then we're going to actually just use a paper clip. So unfold the paper clip and just poke the paper clip through the side of the of the lure like like this it takes a pretty good little push there once you get that then you just bend that back and that that'll just keep that lure on on that paper clip okay then we unbend this some more and we're going to just reach into the trap and we have little, we've put some little holes in the side of the trap and we have to go in once or out and then back in, go back into the, the hole there like that and you just bend that together a little bit on the inside just to keep the lure on there and you see that now the lure is hanging down on the inside. Notice I popped the trap open a bit so I'll have to staple that again to hold it in place. Okay so that's now ready to actually hang on the stand. So the next step is to put the trap onto the fiberglass pole stand. So we're using a, a um, actually an electric fence insulator and what we've done is we've actually drilled three holes in it, so top and bottom here, and then we've drilled one in behind as well. And so we can actually feed a zip tie in and around there. So that's fairly straightforward. Then we, we actually just put the zip tie through that hole that we created when we're putting the trap together and zip tie it down, okay? Don't get, it, don't get it too tight until you get it actually onto the stand. So now we just actually just slide this onto the stand and get it down to the height we want and tighten it down. Now the height we want is actually, we want to adjust it every time we go out to check the trap 
so that it is actually the top of the trap is right at the top of the crop. So that's why we have an adjustable system here. If it needs to be brought up, you just loosen it off, bring it up a bit and tighten it back down. So it's a nicely adjustable stand and it will work fairly well for that. So now we're just gonna, we're gonna fold one end in uh, to get ready to put the sticky card in. So one end is folded in. Notice that you fold the tops first and then the bottom in last. And then the sticky card, we just peel off the, the uh, wax paper. And slide it in. <laughs> More easily said than done. Slide it in, it just lay, lays on the bottom. And just fold the sides in first and then the bottom. And that will actually hold that trap in, or the sticky card in place. And that's actually all set up and ready to go. So the purpose of this sticky card is of course to catch the, the adult males that are attracted to the pheromone. By doing this, we actually get an activity level reading on the wheat midge. And that's the purpose of the trap, is to see if the midge are flying, uh, when they're flying, and relative numbers. Um, we don't use this trap to do actual threshold counts. Those, those have to be done in the field uh, once we know that we have uh, activity levels high enough to be concerned about in the field. So that's all the trap is doing, is giving us a level of activity. And um, we're all ready to go to the field. For more information, go to the Alberta Insect Pest Monitoring Network website.